Welcome back. It is spring in the art room today, and we are creating very hungry caterpillars. Go ahead and click on the Google Slides to see the directions. All right, so first things first, please watch the Very Hungry Caterpillar movie, which is based on the book by Eric Carl before you start your art project. And then we are going to create our own caterpillars. Uh, normally we would be using paint and scissors and all kinds of fun stuff. Today we're gonna use what we have around the house. So our crayons, our color pencils, our markers, whatever you have. You can add some fun patterns to your caterpillar, make them all different kinds of colors. And we're definitely going to be giving our caterpillar different food to eat. If you read the story, you'll understand why. Caterpillar ate apple, pears, plums, strawberries, oranges, and more, and had a big tummy ache. And that was kind of the story, part of the story was once he ate one green leaf, he felt much better because caterpillars are supposed to be eating leaves. So in just a moment, we're gonna start our caterpillar by using just simple shapes. We will add some legs and some antennas. We will outline our caterpillar with a black crayon marker or color pencil, if you have it. We will add some fun patterns and colors, whatever colors you want your caterpillar to be. And then we will draw some food for our caterpillar to eat. Let's get started. So we're gonna start off with our caterpillar's head which is a big circle shape. And if yours is more of an oval shape, that is totally fine. And then we're gonna draw some more smaller circles or ovals. Each circle we're gonna try to connect just like that. And if I go too fast, you can always pause the video, draw your shapes and then come back as many circles as you want your caterpillar to have. There we go. All right, that's gonna be the body of our caterpillar. Now let's give our caterpillar a face. However you wanna draw your caterpillar, I'm kind of making mine look like what was in the book. So we had these big oval eyes, cute little triangle nose, mouth. And then he's a bug, he's an insect, so he's gonna have antennas, which help him smell and see. And since he's an insect, he has six legs. So go ahead and draw six rectangle shapes. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, our caterpillar can now crawl. Another little detail, if you would like to add it, is some short little hairs on the back of your caterpillar's back. This was what the caterpillar in the story had. These little hairs taste really bad, so birds do not want to eat the caterpillar. Let me just finish adding those little details. The caterpillar does not have any wings yet. It will by the end of the story. Make sure you read it. Now, before you go coloring this in, you might wanna add some fun patterns to your caterpillar. Do you remember some of the patterns we've learned about? Such as zigzag pattern. And you can do this with pencil or with color. Just to give our caterpillar something to stand out. We could do um, circle pattern. We could do um, maybe like a crisscross line. I'm gonna go the other way. That is called plaid. We could do bumpy line. Bump, 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 bump. Whatever patterns you wanna add to your caterpillar. All right, I've got my patterns done and now I'm gonna color my caterpillar in. 
You can use whatever colors you want. All right, I've got my caterpillar all colored in. Now let's draw some food for our caterpillar to eat. What kind of food do you wanna give your caterpillar? Healthy food, savory food, some sweets. I like to do a good balance. Maybe I'll give my uh, caterpillar a, um, an apple, nice and healthy. Maybe then I'll give my caterpillar a piece of cheese also pretty healthy. No, that's not pie. It's cheese. <laughs> All right. After that, my caterpillar can have a little bit of dessert, maybe some ice cream. Oops. Kind of made the cone kind of tilts it, but that's okay. And then I'll let my caterpillar have a nice green leaf so it does not have a stomach ache. And there we go, there's my caterpillar and its food. I hope you have a great time drawing your very hungry caterpillar. Make sure you come back next week when we turn our caterpillar into a beautiful butterfly. I'll see you next week.